what is the positive solution to the given equation? And just like that, they hit the gas and went into, in my opinion, a much more difficult problem than some of the previous ones. So it is factoring, but not just any factoring. We have factoring with a five out in front. I was surprised by that. Okay, the two main ways that I would go about doing this would either be by factoring it or by using the quadratic formula. So I, I am a factoring girl. I like to factor things and it's something that makes sense to me. So that's the method I'm choosing. If you want to use the quadratic formula, that method works equally well. So if you're factoring and the first coefficient is not one, let me make this a little bit smaller there. We have five. What you do first is you multiply those two together. Five times negative 24. So five times negative 24 is negative 120. And then you take that middle number, negative 37. Now, once you have these two numbers, you're trying to do some problem solving here. You're wanting to figure out what two numbers multiply to get 120, but add to get negative 37. Okay, so I'm gonna make a list of things that multiply to 120. And I'm gonna ignore the negative for a second because just know that like say example, first one, when I say two times 60, this could be negative two times positive 60 or two times negative 60. Now, when I write these out, I'm gonna look for ones where if I'm either adding or subtracting them together, I get to negative 37. So they either wanna add up to negative 37 or but because it's a negative, you're like I'm looking for a difference of 37 between the two. So what goes into 120? Two goes into 120. 60 times, three goes into it 40 times. And right there, right off the bat, I'm like, wait, three and 40 are 37 apart. I think I found it already. So what if this was a negative 40 and a positive three? Those would add together to get negative 37 and they would multiply together to get a negative 120. So I've already found my answer. I don't have to go any further. So yeah, you don't have to write out all the possible things that go into it. You just wanna be testing as you go so that you don't have to do more work than you have to in these uh, tests where there's a time pressure. Right, so now I know three and negative 40 are my two. So I am going to solve this or factor it by grouping. So I'm gonna write negative 40X plus three X minus 24 equals zero. And if this is something that's very new for you, I would suggest going to the links in the description below that goes really into de detail on uh, factoring, factoring by grouping, stuff like that, because for these, I'm going over the concepts, but not as in-depth as some of those long-form topic-focused videos are. All right, so first, 5x squared minus 40x. What's my greatest common factor? 5 goes into both of those, so I can bring that out, and x goes into both of those, so I can bring that out. That leaves behind x minus 8. Over here, hopefully if I've done it right, I can pull something out that will leave X minus eight behind. There is that greatest common factor of three. So if I pull out a positive three, sure enough, it leaves X minus eight behind. So I have fully factored this. It is five X plus three times X minus eight. And then if I solve both of those separately, say 5x plus 3 equals 0 and x minus 8 equals 0. Well, just long experience tells me this is going to be the one with the positive answer. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides and get that x equals 8. So that is my answer. But if you want to see this one, on this one, I would subtract 3 from both sides. This just keeps going. I keep moving up. <laughs> and I would get 5x equals negative 3 and then divide both sides by five, x equals negative three fifths. And if you recall, they asked for the positive solution to the given equation. So this negative one, we don't need it. We only need this positive one. So it is, man, that just, it's a long, that's what I said. I think it's, they stepped up a level of difficulty on that problem. X equals eight, so C is my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.